Hey guys, this video is a follow-up video to a previous one I did on the fill, set block, test for block, and technically execute. A uh, bunch of changes that happened in the most recent update. Basically in the last video I kind of explained how the new syntax works. In this video I kind of gathered some questions that I found in the comment section as well as my Discord. Uh, shout out to my Discord, please join in if, you're already, if you're not already in it. But anyways, we're going to be going through a few examples that I saw a bunch of different questions on. Uh, unfortunately, I won't have gotten everybody's questions answered or all the examples but hopefully this will help you guys out unfortunately the documentation we do have is not entirely accurate and complete so i'm not gonna be able to get like necessarily everything in fact some of the stuff i'm gonna show off is bugs but uh anyways let's get right into it starting off with the light block uh, unfortunately i can't show light blocks because uh this map is filled with light blocks so i can't really demonstrate this but i'll show you guys the example um yeah, so if you guys are wanting to do a light block, this is what you're going to do. You have light block here. Uh, normally, you would have the number here, just the number, and that would give the light level intensity. Fortunately, now you got to add this bracket, and then, you know, block underscore light underscore level, quotations, colons, and then the number, and whatever number you have here is going to be the light level. Uh, pretty simple stuff, actually, but this is the syntax for light blocks. All right, next up, we have buttons, which I'm pretty sure are bugged. I've got, I th this is what the syntax I believe should be, according to the documentation I've seen. It doesn't work. Um, yeah, so as far as I'm aware, buttons as well as levers, I think pressure plates as well. I'm not sure about pressure plates, I haven't tested them directly. I believe they are bugged, and currently they won't work for like the like test for block. Like if you have a setup that's supposed to remotely test for buttons, this is not going to work, so I'm going to show you guys a quick workaround on how you can still have a remote button set up if that's something you're looking to do. So what we have here is we have two buttons. You can see they're in the exact same position. And what we have here is a test for blocks. And it's really important, there's an S at the end of this. So we have two sets of coordinates. So the first set is going to be the same number twice because we're only testing for one block. And this is basically, we're gonna have one button is these three numbers, the coordinates are these three numbers same coordinates set again, and then basically testing against the second set of coordinates. So basically what it's doing is this comparator saying, is this button the same as this button? And if it is, it's going to be positive. So if I get like a redstone lamp here, excuse me, Jolly's going to be happy about this video. Um, basically you can see the lamp's not on. If any of these buttons get pressed, the light's going to turn on because these buttons are no longer exactly the same because this one's pressed down and this one isn't. They're no longer exactly the same, so this comparator is going to turn off and this torch turns on. It actually will work with either button. It's just seeing if they're exactly the same or not. So it's not as efficient, I understand. However, this is a potential workaround depending on what you guys are working on. Hopefully that helps. Uh, like I believe the same is true of levers, but you can also use the same system with levers here. So yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. Okay, back to the actual blocks. Because this is what we're going to do for wood. So for instance, we're using planks. I have wood type. Then I have this. Then spruce. And you can see, boom. Spruce planks. I can go in here and... Boom. Birch planks. Uh, you guys can probably figure out how that one works. I'm not going to go through all the examples. They're fairly obvious. Okay, another question I was asked, how do I add the destroy? So a lot of people have, for instance, set block air, and then zero destroy is what they would do. Instead of the zero, you just add brackets. This is going to be destroying the block above currently. So if I place some dirt, place some dirt on here, boom. It destroys it, and like it actually produces the block. And it should probably work the same if I did this. Yeah. So, in case you guys are wondering, I got a few questions on how to do that. It's This one's actually really simple. Instead of a zero, after the air, you, you just put brackets. Uh, it's not too hard. Okay. Similar to the buttons. I believe frames are bugged as well. This is what the document documentation says it should be. It's not. Uh, this isn't working. Um... I don't know what's up with frames. Like I said, as far as I can tell, they're bugged or the documentation is wrong. If you guys have any information, please do let me know so I can 
update the community on this. But yeah, as far as I can tell, frames as well as glow frames, they're not working right now with the command. Either that or the documentation is wrong. Sorry to tell you guys that, but that's as much information as I have. Okay, another one that I saw is how do I place the different types of quartz? Uh, so pretty simple here. You do, after the quartz block, you put in like little brackets here, and then you will do chisel type, and then you type in what are the chisel types you want it to be. So the options you have to put after chisel type, you have default, that's normal quartz block, lines, that's like the uh, columns, uh, chiseled is like this kind of like ornate pattern, and then smooth is obviously the smooth quartz. So you can see, boom, I got smooth quartz. Uh, if I were to go into lines, I'll get the pillar instead. You get the idea. So those are your options. That's how you do quartz. And the other question that I'm going to address that I saw is for stairs. Uh, yeah, this one's kind of weird too. So this is how you do stairs. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. So upside down bit is going to be true or false. And for that, if you want it to be upside down, you put true. Uh, if I don't want it to be upside down, you put false. You can see it's currently upside down. If I press this, boom, it's normal. Uh, one important thing to note is the false is not in quotation marks. Neither is this number here. This number is the direction. So just put in a different number. It's going to change it. One through four, your options. Is it zero through three? Actually, I didn't even test that. Yeah, it's zero through three. So change the number to change the direction in this sense. And then if you want it to be upside down or not, you change this between true and false. False is normal, true is upside down. Like I said, I know this is not gonna answer everyone's questions. I'm sure I'm gonna see more in the comments. If you do have questions, I do highly recommend joining the Discord. Uh, I believe in the next updates or in a future update, we will get autofill for these commands. So it will be a lot easier. And there'll actually be documentation in game for some of these commands. Uh, so pretty much the tutorial part of the video is over. I'm going to go on a short rant for a little bit just because I'm not happy with the way Mojang did this change. Um, compared to the execute change, I'm just not happy with the way this is implemented. I quite like the execute change. I know not everyone did. I think it makes the execute command a little bit stronger and just more useful overall, even though it is a little bit more complicated. Similarly, I think this change could be good. But the fact that it launched without documentation, there's no actual documentation in game. The documentation we have out of game is either wrong or the command is bugged. I don't really know which, like I said, the buttons, I've looked at multiple different sources on how to get the buttons to work and none of the documentation we have is correct. The fact that there's nothing in game, even though they planned on adding it in a future update, I don't know why they didn't wait until the autofill was there before adding the update. I really don't know why they pushed this. Uh, I really just hurt a lot of people, especially people who are kind of new to commands and they just start trying to figure stuff out and then you completely mess them up like this. I just, I'm not happy with the way that Mojang handled this update. I like, and Mojang, if you guys are listening to me, I like the changes, but the implementation here was not good. Compared to the XQ command, we had a lot of time and experimental features to try this out, to make tutorials and figure out how this works. And you guys put an actual article on your website on how the execute command works. We didn't get at all the same for the, for the changes for this commands. I, I don't know why, like uh, th this frustrated me, even as someone who's been doing commands for several years, I can't imagine someone who's new to commands and getting this update with no documentation. Like this is really going to hurt the community of the command block people. So. I'm, I'm not happy with the way this was handled. So if you guys stuck around to the end, thank you for sticking around. If you guys like commands, you need help, whatever, join our Discord. The link's going to be in the description. Hopefully this video was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. All right. Have a nice day.